Hey guys, this is RLC321 back again with another Cesarbi Master Grade modeling video for you. This time it's a continuation of it, obviously. It's, as I said, it's just a continuation of the build just to see how it looks when it's all built, what we can, what needs to be taken apart, what doesn't, etc. etc. So, this section we're going to be working on the arms. This is all the plastic crack for the arms. Look at, look at that, there's just loads. There's loads. Alright, now you have to do it twice, but still, there's loads. Look, loads. Anyway, who's all? <coughs> so, we're going to start off. We need the P and the T. So, what I don't need is the A. So, you're A1 and A2, so you can go there. You're the F and K, so you go there. You're the H's, so I'm going to put the H there. You're doubled up. You're doubled up. Your P's. So, yes, we need P. Now, it is saying to use some of these parts. I'm not going to because I'm, I've got the, the metal parts out, but if it needs to be put in beforehand, then I will, but if not, I'm not going to worry about them. That's why they're out, just in case. And obviously the polycaps, the T's. Right, so it's asking for P5 times 2. So we use P and we look for 5. Okay. I had that bit. That bit fell off, didn't it? Where did I put it? I thought I put it up here. Did I put it back in the box? There it is. Right, P5. P5. Okay. There and there. Right, so there's two P5s. And T11 and T25. Okay, so your T11. So we're going to need two of those. I think what I might do is cut all the pieces out and lay them in order them and then build it. I may do that. And T25. Is this one right here? Okay. Actually, no, I won't. No, I'll just continue on how it does it in the in the manual. I'll do that right here. So we got this. We need to snip off that because this is what broke off accidentally. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of panel lines in this out there. So we do need to sand it, but we'll get to that in a bit. So we want T11. And that goes up that way with a flat end down, and it goes in there. Okay, like that. And then this little doohickey with the flat end up that goes into there. It goes into there. It will go into there. Does it go into there? There it does. There. Make sure you push that all the way in. <coughs> and add a nice little click to it as well. Right, let's make sure these are all off. And so we've got the that one that goes in there. And then this one that goes into here. Like so, so we now have those two. Oh, I wanted to show you something before we continue. I've managed to, to fix this pipe right there. Okay, what it what I what I've done, I will show you what I did if I undo that. All I've done if we try and get it to focus. 
There we go. All I've done was trim that part there and this part right there. Just trim them down. You can see how far I've trimmed them on the, the bottom here. No, 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 there, there. You can roughly see how far I've trimmed them. It's only about like half a millimeter or something like that. But it's able to fit properly now. Which is what we wanted it to do. Okay. So there you go, there's that fixed. I did, I did say I would show you how I would fix that if I managed to. Right, next I want P7, P8 and T23. This is all times two. So T23 is these little doohickeys here. Two of those and P7 and P8 which is these two here okay that's one and we do the same on the other one Yeah, I mean, uh, I was talking to, to someone in one of the, the comments earlier, Fangirl. Um, a really good supporter of my channel, thank you very much. And I just dropped something, I'll be right back. <coughs> Excuse me. And we, we were sort of like the, this, talking about the, this, 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 model kit and and the lighting and that I am gonna have a look see what the inbuilt not the inbuilt LED but the LED that comes with the kit right here with this metal kit see what that looks like if it's too dull or it's not illuminating enough I'll make my own and then obviously we'll go through how how I did that Obviously, we'll go through the, the process of me doing that. Oh, excuse me, please. Because I, I, I hadn't put a video up yesterday. I was just ill in bed pretty much all day. I was sleeping most of the day. And I, I never sleep during the day. Never. I was really, really ill. At first, I thought it was my, my blood pressure tablets that were making me ill. But I don't think it was. It might have been something different. Right, so what this is telling me to do here is get P8 and that goes, God, these are really slippy, no it's just me and my clumsy fingers, so that goes like that, so we want this part, okay so that goes like that. I want that part to go into that, no, is it that way or is it the long way? No, yep, it's that way, yep, so the short, short end should fit into there, like so, let's get it straight, is it supposed to go in there like that? must do that's what the at least that's what the instructions are saying and then this bad boy gets put on into there yep gets put on into there Come on. there we go like that and then this gets pushed in here squeeze that together there we go so then there's that bit okay so that's that part done 
So we just do the same on the other side. On the other side of life. Wait, didn't I promise I'll never ever sing again on this channel? I think I did. I know I can't sing to save my life. But. Oh, there we go. Right, and let me clip you in. Like a so. Right. And that should be right. Yep. There we go. Just like that. So we've got those two. Let's put those there. Right. Next. We are wanting P13, P11, P12. <coughs> Excuse me. P13, P11, P12. So there's 13. So there's 13. Oh, well, we are going to need 14 as well. Okay. Get okay. it okay. So we get that there. And P11, P12, which is P11. Ah, yes, right. Also, another thing. Um, on one of the groups that I post the uh, my live video on, on on Facebook, a couple of hours afterwards, there was a notification from one of the admins asking, saying, please do not promote third-party kits. Okay. This is a, a third-party kit. Yes. I freely admit that, you know, I don't have a problem with third party kits, but I do not endorse third party kits. Reason I got this is, uh, I'd got this a, a while back. Um, I was unemployed at the time and it was in, in the UK, even now, you just go Google up the, the price for a master grade to be for a car. You're talking hundreds, hundreds of pounds. Okay, um, <clears throat> and I couldn't afford that, but I saw this on a Chinese site for thirty-five pounds, something like that, and I thought, well, why not? You know, it's it's it's. I do support the proper makers. I have loads of Bandai kits. If you look at my channel, there's loads of Bandai kits that I have done as well. It's just that every now and then there might be something that you can get from a third party seller that you can't get from the normal, legitimate ways. Um, like a company called Supernova do their own version of a Sandrock Gundam, which I really, really want. And it looks absolutely awesome. I'm going to be buying that. It's a third party kit. But then you get the, the third party kits like the um, Turf Stormer or the... Um, Penelope Gundam from Magic Magic or, or something like that. I can't remember the system works. Well, something like that. They're, they're really they're really big kits. They're third party kits. They're not licensed by Bandai. Garage garage kits that you get for like Star Trek and, and all the other things like that. They're not licensed. You get 3D models, 3D printed models of things. They're not licensed. They are third party kits. But they are allowed on some sites. You know, so I although I don't have a problem with working with third party kits, I do not endorse them in any way. I much prefer to buy the original where I can. Okay? Actually coming up there is a um a build series on the gun tank from Bandai, Master Grade Gun Tank. That's from Bandai. I I do support the companies. So don't ever think that I'm just supporting these. I don't. These metal parts, they're from third party. It's a third party kit. It's not licensed by Bandai. You know. But just be very careful. 
at the same time, when you do work with third-party kits, the quality is not always as good as the one you would get from the legitimate seller. So always bear that in mind as well. Case in point, the fit issue that we were having here on this. You know, so always be be mindful and be careful. And other people may not like you doing third-party kits. Okay, fair enough. But the thing is, you don't put other people's opinions on, on yourself. You know, in in my opinion, if if oh hang on, <coughs> drop that again. Oh, I've got the dropsies. <coughs> and if if people if the admins of of that group had a problem with me posting that, all they had to do is just private message me. You know, they they don't know the situation behind behind things. You know, I've, and I've wanted this kit for for ages, and I've been wanting to do this kit for ages, but there's no way I'm paying £123 for a plastic model kit. Um, as much as I love models and model kit builds, to me, that's just ridiculous amounts of money. Yeah, admittedly, some people out there will spend that. Fine, fair enough. I can't justify it. I've got family. I've got family to feed and, and, and a household to run. And spending that amount of money on a piece of plastic. No. I don't, don't want to do it. I mean, if they were cheaper in the UK, <clears throat> yeah, I'd buy them all the time. I mean, there is a store I buy from all, all the time anyway, because they're actually quite a reasonable price. And it's called gundammad.co.uk. Shameless plug. And I, I buy from him. All my Bandai kits come from him. Just because they are they are a lot cheaper than I would get elsewhere. Even though they, I have to admit, some are getting a little bit pricey at the minute. But they, I, I buy them from him. You know, so I just wanted to let you guys know that I don't s promote and support third party kits. I do use them from time to time, but I don't promote them. So, carrying on. That's enough of that now. So, we want to get number 13, which I believe is this little doohickey here. Isn't it? Yes, it is. And then we get this. With that part facing this away. This goes on to here. Like so, just like that. This little doohickey. And facing that away goes to there like so actually we need to put you down that way okay then we get this and it looks like this goes into here <coughs> and this goes on the on on there like that Okay, and then this goes into here. Like so. Now this I'm not squeezing together fully because I'm 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 gonna want to take this apart, and then this will get clipped into there. So if we push this down, that will get clipped. Up, 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 up. That will get clipped into there. I am not going to clip it into there because obviously it needs the underneath here. This part will need painting. Okay, but that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to have like a joint mechanism like that. And it's a little bit tight. So another reason why I don't want to clip it together is so I can paint, uh, sand this down a little bit. <coughs> put some paint on. Because if I put paint on there now... It's going to lock up and seize and the paint's just going to rub off. So I'm going to need to sand this down a little bit. The the actual rods. And put some paint on it and make it look good. Right, so any hoozle. So we've got that done. So we need to do the same over this side. There's this little doohickey here. 
this little ding dong goes on there this goes there like a zoo this goes in here and that's away round okay this goes on there like so and then this just squeezes together and again I am not squeezing too tight because I want a little bit of a gap to it there so I can pull it through and it's going to be the same thing again there we go okay and that moves fine and that moves perfectly fine okay right so we now have that <coughs> next up we want p1 and p2 okay p1 p2 which are these little tiny things right here Two P one and P two. Okay. P one and P two. So we need two of those. I don't know if it's me, but my cutters are not cutting properly. Okay, P two, P one. And T21. Which is this here. Let's move that down a little bit. Okay. And E1 and E2. Okay. E1 and E2. E. E. Are you E? You're H. What about you? Are you E? You're K. You're A. Okay, I thought I had all the, the parts out. Obviously not. E1. I've got them. I've got them. Okay. So we want E12 and E22. So E12, which is this one right here. And E22, which is also this one right here. Right, so that's that. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Mm, dear. <coughs> right. So, get this. P2. So that's P2. And that's going to go into here. Like that. And P1 goes on the opposite side. Looks like. Okay, so that goes in there. And he's telling me to put it in that way. Just to let you know. Ah, E1, E14. I forgot about E14. Okay. Nearly forgot about that. And that one there. Okay. Oh, I got it. Throwing things around. 
Um, probably I'm still not with it. That's probably why I'm throwing things around. <laughs> so I do apologise. All right, there we go. Yeah, so we've got that. So then we get this little doohickey, and saying this goes in here first. This. Uh, no, this goes on the uh, on goes on back here. Right. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut a piece of these uh, 45 degree angle, just so it's gonna be easier for me to get this part off of a later date. <coughs> So this goes this way, and it goes. Oh, we've got another, another little piece just here. Snip that off. Well, it's not snipping it off as such; it's just doing it so it's going to be easier to pull on and off later. And then uh, once I've it's all painted, I can glue those in place so they don't move. And then this part. goes that way into there like so okay so that goes like that alrighty then and yep okay alrighty so let's just do the same with this here get rid of those pieces just a slight snip here and there. And this just helps with pulling the pieces on and off. So, we've got that. <clears throat> now we want P6. Now, P6 is telling me to put the yellow thingies on. Obviously, we're not going to do that. We don't need it. So, this is P6. Isn't P6? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. P6. Because on here is where the yellow uh, these uh, which should be number six, which should be these ones here. That's what's going to go on there. Okay, but uh, we've got the metal parts for that, so I'm not worried. It's not going to interfere with the build. So we're not going to worry about it. <coughs> So we now want A1, A2, which is this. And this is one of the silver parts. I actually think this is the first of the silverish parts that we're using. So that one goes there. And then is this one? there and K 
which is this one that's falling off already. K9. There you go. As I said, these, these videos are going to be quite long because it's going to be as live. You're watching me build it pretty much live, but it's not live live. You're just looking at it as if it is P19. Enough of P19, which is this little doohickey here. Right there. P19 and H, which I think is this. Yes. So H2, H3, H4. So H2. H2. H3 and 4. Shouldn't put that down. H one. Luckily, some of these parts are they're pretty much all the same. Now, what we're going to do as well <clears throat> when we finish building this is just to see what the the actual kit's like and everything. We're going to separate it into colours, okay? Reason being, the parts are so distinguishable from the others, you can actually see what parts are what. You don't need the number to tell you what's going to go where, because they, they're they too distinguishable. So you'll very easily be able to just sort it into colour sections, and then be able to, to paint it. And then it's just the hands. The hands we will do later. We'll use do the hands when we incorporate the when we do the shoulders because the shoulder is not going to be in this build because as I say it's going to be going on for quite a while. So anywho, so we now we get this. We get this little do hickey, and that is going in what way? That way, and that. goes into there so it comes out here as you can see right then we put this into here now this is when it could get tricky so I think what I'm gonna do because I want to obviously I'm gonna be painting this separate I want to just do what I do before and just give it a little snip there so it's not as tight in. Right, and we put this into here and it should fit in. in like that right, and we should be able to pull this apart fit relatively easily um, got a bit of a nasty there let's just get rid of that right and we get this up in here 
into that should fit into them. Positive it should. this back out again. Something's not quite right. Okay. Try and push this in here first. And I think if we do this, okay, so is this is why <coughs> you shouldn't buy third party kits. Because it's looking like this isn't quite going in the way it should. That's supposed to go in there, and that's supposed to go in there, but it's not. So, let's pull that out. And let's shave off some of this. Yeah, just a little bit, just so I know where it's going. Don't want to take too much off. I think I'll take those off completely. <laughs> I'll still be able to see where they are going. I'll just take them off all together. All together now. Should hopefully fit a lot better. Nearly, but not quite. Okay. All right. So that goes on there. I've managed to get almost managed to get that sorted, and then. Let's cut these off a little bit. And let's then this. Goes on there. <coughs> like a so. Then this little doohickey. And that way round, I believe. Goes on like that. Okay. This. Nope. We get this. And. What? H4, H3, 
Now, so where do you go? That one there. So that one goes in there. This one is going to go in here. Again, I'm not going to put it all the way in because I want it to be able to so pull it out. in as much as I would like and then that one goes into there okay this part then goes that way around and that fits onto that there kind of This part goes in there, like so. These are going to be a pain in my arse. I think they're supposed to clip onto something in there, but because I haven't got it put on properly, and it's all loose, so I can take it apart to paint it, it's not staying in. At least that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Alright, so. That's pretty much the arm done. <clears throat> and obviously the other one's going to be pretty much exactly the same. It just seems a bit pointless to do this one now anyway. But yeah, there you go. That's the, the arm and you've got the bendy bits there. This is not fully put together, so just bear that in mind. That's why it's all not able to clip in how it should. But yeah, there you go, there's the arm. Oh no, wait a minute. <clears throat> we forgot this. So this part would go... Let's put that there. And like that. And this will go... Onto here. Like so. That's the arm minus the hands right anyway guys there you go there's the the arms on and that would obviously just fit into onto there like that obviously I'm not putting it in all the way but you get the idea and there's the arms so anyway guys I want to say thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this little build and the next part of the video will be the shoulders and the hands. So I look forward to seeing you then. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye now.